Okay, Hart, what's this all about? Look, Chloe, you asked Jesus to come live inside of me. Duh, that's a no-brainer. Hold on a minute. I don't like that term, no-brainer. As your brain, Chloe, I happen to believe that asking Jesus into our heart was the smartest thing we've ever done. I agree, brain. And now that Jesus lives in me, aren't we supposed to do things His way? Exactly. I want us to obey God's word at all times. So, why did you steal the soccer ball, Chloe? What soccer ball did I steal, Hart? The one you found in your neighbor's yard yesterday? Finders, keepers, losers, weepers. That's the rule. That's the world's rule, Brain, not God's rule. Taking something out of someone else's yard is stealing. Taking things that don't belong to you is stealing. Stealing is a sin. Brain, why didn't you tell me that taking that soccer ball was a sin? I asked you if it was okay to take it. I thought it was. That's what I thought. Brain, you need to get renewed. What? And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Romans 12, 2. What? We change our behavior by renewing our minds to think in agreement with God's word. I know what you're trying to do. You want to put me in a mental hospital. Ah! Mental hospital? Talk about a no-brainer. Hey, come back, brain. I need you. Is Brain coming? He'll be here, Chloe. Are you ready? I have everything right here, Hart. Surgical mask, gloves, and apron. I'm all ready. All right. Here I am. Where do you want me? Lay down right where you are, Brain. Thanks for not putting me in a mental hospital. You don't need a hospital. You have us. We are here to help you. Remember, we change our behavior by renewing our minds to think in agreement with God's word. Tell me that verse again. And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Romans 12, 2. Okay, time to be transformed, brain. Hey, what are you dressed up like a doctor for? Because I'm going to do a little brain surgery. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. Where did Brain go? Not again. Brain, it was a joke. Come back, Brain. We just want to help you. Promise me you won't do surgery on me. I promise, Brain. We just want to help you change your mind. Yeah, that's all. We'll all be a lot happier. Remember Romans 12 to and do... I know, I know. And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. I've been thinking about that verse a lot. You're already getting renewed, Brain. You're thinking about God's Word. We change our behavior by renewing our mind with the Word of God. So all I have to do is think about God's Word? Yes! It's called meditating on the Word. You know, imagining that you're doing what the Word of God says. Yeah, that will help me to do what the Word of God says. Wow, that's easier than I thought. Easier than brain surgery, huh? You can say that again. Mason? Mason! What's the matter, Hart? I can't find Mason. It's not like him to leave without me. Not since he was born again. Calm down. He's playing with some new toy he bought. Mason, where have you been? Look what I bought with my allowance. I've been saving my money. Take that. In that. Is that one of those flashlights they direct planes on the runway with? No. I know. It's one of those poles to help you balance when you're walking on a tight wire. No. It's a Darth Maul lightsaber. No, it's not. It's a baton for cheerleaders. Heart's right. It's a Darth Maul lightsaber. Isn't it cool? So you're the mighty Jedi. I shall annihilate you. Ha ha ha. I shall destroy you. Stop, Mason. The Bible says to put away the evil person. Why don't you pretend to be the good guy? What are you talking about, Hart? What evil person? He's just playing with a stick. He's pretending to be Darth Maul. 
Don't you see what it's doing to him? Of course I see what it's doing to him. I'm not dumb, you know. So, uh, what do you think it's doing to him? If Mason keeps thinking that being the bad guy is cool, his choice of who he imitates will affect his attitude and behavior. Have you lost your mind? Oh wait, I'm right here. You're crazy, Hart. I'll show you. Remind Mason that he hasn't read his Bible yet today. Hey, Mason, you forgot to read your Bible today. What's the matter with him? Is he deaf? He might as well be. Mason is thinking so much about being the bad guy that he might forget about God. No, it's just a stick. I know what to do. Hey, Mason, it's time for Fish Bites for Kids. You know, on YouTube. Mason loves Fish Bites for Kids. Not anymore. He's just having a little fun. Leave him alone for a while and he'll be all right. You'll see. It's my job to guard Mason's heart. It's your job to guard Mason's thoughts. Toys, music, video games, movies, television, and friends influence how we think and live. Mason needs to do what the Bible says and put away the evil person. You can't be serious. He's pretending. Pretending to be evil. You need to be renewed, brain. Come on, Hart. Mason's a Christian. Can't he have any fun? He could have fun while pretending to be the good guy and fight evil. You know the Bible says that as a person thinks in his heart, so is he. Mason, let's pretend like you are the good guy and you defeat the evil guy, Darth Maul. That would be fun. Where's Hart? I think he's a little broken because you bought that thing. He says it's an evil person. Oh, that's dumb. It's just a toy. That's what I thought. Hey, it's time for Fish Bites for Kids. Yeah, I know. But I've already seen them all. Well, they might have a new one. Or you can make Hart happy and read your Bible for a while. He's concerned that you like being the bad guy too much. Being the bad guy is fun. Boy, maybe Hart's right. Hart! Hart! My name is Megan. My name is Megan. M E G. <laughs> I can't remember how to spell my name. Silly me. There you are, Megan. How many times have I told you not to go anywhere without me? Sorry, Brain, but I'm glad you're here. Help me out. My name is spelled M E G A N. M E G A N. Megan. Used in a sentence, it would be Megan forgot her brain again. Very funny, Brain. There you are, Megan. How many times have I told you not to go anywhere without me, especially to church? Are we at church? Tell her where we are, Brain. It's not my fault, Hart. She left without me, too. Uh, Megan, we're at church, not at cheerleading practice. Oh! <laughs> Aren't we supposed to worship God at church? You should worship God every day, but you can't worship God without me. Oh, yes, I can. I can raise my hands. Two bits, four bits, six bits, a dollar. All for Jesus, stand up and holler. Yeah! That's good, Megan, but that's not worship. Brain, what's a bit? Huh? What's a bit? You know, two bits, four bits, six bits, a dollar? Oh, um, uh, I think a bit is what they call their coins in England. Oh, so it's time for the offering. Wait, then what's worship? Huh? All for Jesus, stand up and holler. Hart said that wasn't worship, so what's worship? Well, uh, I'm not sure. You haven't been bringing me to church lately, remember? I'll tell you what worship is, Megan. Worship is obeying God's word with a willing heart. It's respecting God and telling Him you love Him from your heart. That's why you can't worship God without me. If you leave me at home, you're wasting your time. Now you know how I feel when she goes to school to take a test without me. She's wasting her time. But I don't like taking you guys anywhere. Brain, when I have a test, you always want to study. And Heart, when I go to church, you don't let me talk to my friends. You can talk to your friends before and after church. You always want to talk to them when it's time to worship God. During worship is the only time I won't get caught talking because the teacher sings with his eyes closed. Look, do you want to please God or not? Megan, listen to me. You'd better please God. We'll all be happier in the long run. Okay. Okay what? I want to please God. Then you've got to worship God in spirit and in truth. That means you have to take me to church. 
You can't just raise your hands while you talk to your friends. He's right. Worshiping God with our whole heart empowers us for victory. If you want to live in victory, you have to submit your will to God. Put God first. To be honest, you spend more time learning a cheer than you do learning a memory verse from the Bible. You're right. I'm sorry, guys. Hey, Brain, you know a lot more about worship than you think. Yeah, it all came back to me. Megan used to take us to church all the time, remember? Yeah, those were the good old days. Uh, I think Megan ditched us again. I believe you're right. Let's go find her. All right, body, brain, it's time to exercise ourselves toward godliness. 1 Timothy 4, 7. Exercise? Worst idea ever. Body, we have to get you in shape. <laughs> I know, coach, so I can be fit for the master's use. Brain, we have to get you renewed. All right, coach, so I'll think on good things and meditate on God's word. But do we have to exercise? Brain, you exercise to get smart. What would you be like if you laid around all day doing nothing? Well, if I didn't exercise, I'd be really dumb, coach. I'd be confused all the time. I'd think on bad things instead of good things. And I'd think God's word is boring. So do you think it's important for you to exercise then, brain? Definitely. No doubt about it. Body, you exercise to stay fit and to get strong. What would you be like if you laid around all day doing nothing? <laughs> I'd probably sit on the sofa watching TV, eating candy and ice cream, and feeling very sick all the time from being lazy. So then do you feel it's important for you to get exercise, body? <sighs> yes, coach. It's very important. Now, buddy, what do you think Brain would be like if he laid around all day never reading God's word, never praying in faith, never going to church? Hmm, he'd be like he is now, worst Brain ever. Now, Brain, what do you think Body would be like if he laid around all day playing video games, sleeping, never going outside to play? He'd be like he is now, no doubt about it. Buddy, what good is it to go into all the world to do the good works of God if your brain doesn't believe what the Bible says? And brain, what good is it to be renewed by the Word of God, knowing that greater is Jesus in you, if your body is too lazy to go tell anyone about Jesus? I never thought about it like that before. Well, we have to work together as a team. I'm ready, coach. Yeah, so am I. Let's go exercise ourselves toward godliness. 1 Timothy 4, 7. Arr, what you be doing, matey? I'm not matey. I'm Bobby's brain. Why are you acting like a pirate? You're Billy's brain. Didn't Billy get saved? Aye, that he did, matey. I'm not matey. I'm Bobby's brain. Arr. So why don't you clean up your act? You know, get renewed like I did. Look at me. I'm styling. My body hears God's word. Sometimes our parents read it to us, or we listen to podcasts, or we go to church. Whatever we do, I'm there paying attention. I haven't felt this great in my entire life. Me body hears God's word too. Just like you, but I just daydream. I'm thinking about me video games, me friends, and me lunch. But most of the time, I'm thinking about me favorite cartoon, SpongeBob. Oh, who lives in a pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob SquarePants! Look, I like video games. I have friends. I think about what I'm going to have for lunch. I watch SpongeBob sometimes too, but when it's time to hear God's word, I listen carefully. I think about what they're saying. I'm getting renewed with the word of God. You know, we change our behavior by renewing our minds with the word of God. I, you have changed. You used to be a scoundrel like me. 
I got just one question for you. Are you having fun? Fun? I have peace. I don't worry. I'm not afraid. I don't have to work on problems all day. The Lord keeps me in perfect peace because my mind is stayed on Him because I trust in Him. Isaiah 26, 3. Wait, are you telling me that you don't have problems going through you all day and all night? Keeping you awake to the wee hours of the morning? Not anymore. I'm telling you, when Bobby has a problem, we pray and then God tells our spirit man what to do and that's what we do. So you're getting along with your spirit man. <laughs> well, that's mighty nice of you, matey. I'm not matey. I'm Bobby's brain. I'm forever fighting with our spirit man. You think I look bad? You should see him. <laughs> He's always wanting us to pray and read our Bible. That's good. That's how you get renewed. Well, maybe I don't want to renewed. If I had my way, we'd sit around watching SpongeBob all day. Oh! Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob SquarePants! I have to go. Where are you off to, matey? I'm not matey. Oh, never mind. It's time for church. Ah, you mean it's Sunday morning already? Yep. See you at church. Hey, there you are. Let's go. Billy's mom is taking us to church. Ah, why ain't it time for a SpongeBob? Quit the pirate act and let's go. Fine. And try to pay attention in class this time. All right. I'll pay attention. Arr. Special thanks to Aviana and Shiloh Coulson.